Tonight, karate combat is live in Athens, Greece, the city which gave birth to combative sports and proudly mixes the ancient with the contemporary. It's Karate Combat Olympus, coming to you from the spectacular Zapion, which served as a venue for the first modern Olympic Games in 1896 and stands as a true landmark in this vibrant capital. On tap, some of the sport's most accomplished fighters fully focused on showcasing their striking skills and knockout power inside the karate combat pit. Hey everyone, with the great Boss Root, and I'm Sean Wheelock. Boss Karate Combat, of course, made its debut live to the world in Miami, Florida this past April. A stacked card, six fights from that four spectacular finishes. We expect more of the same this evening. Well, it was the first sport that I started out with as a kid. And yes, this event was a crazy event in Miami because I didn't read one negative comment online. We saw everything. We saw clean striking, we saw clean technique, but most of all, we saw the respect that these fighters have for each other. A really intriguing main event this evening. Jerome Brown from England versus the Frenchman, David Donna. A real contrast in styles, boss, a real contrast in body types. Yeah, Donna is a very explosive guy, and Brown is a lengthy guy and more fluid, you know? Now, if Brown can keep him on the outside, outside of his reach, he's gonna pick him apart. But if Donna finds a way to fight inside the reach of his opponent, that could be trouble for Jerome. All fights in karate combat, boss, of course, take place in this specially designed pit. And let's talk about that pit. Our pit is a square of six and a half by six and a half meters, which is for our fans in America, 21 feet and four inches. I love this size because it's, as a fighter, you will be forced to fight. Now also take a look at the walls of the pit. They're in a 45 degree angle. The fighter can use those walls to his advantage. For example, if he wants to throw a real Superman punch, well, just push off and kaboom, there you go. There we have our specially designed four ounce gloves with the perfect amount of padding on the knuckles. And Sean, why don't you bring us the rules? In karate combat, punches to a grounded fighter are per permitted for five seconds. Punches and kicks are allowed above the waist and kicks are allowed below the knee. All submissions are illegal. We are now set for our opening bout of the night. It's 75 kilograms, 165 pounds. It's Redima Saudi of Morocco versus Nikos Kosmos from here in Greece. Here's our Karate Combat pit announcer, Aguilos Triantis. Before we move into the fight, let us have a moment of silence for the victims of the recent Greek bushfires. Thank you. From Athens, Greece, this is Karate Combat Olympus for the first fight of the night. In the red corner, coming from Morocco, Rita Masoudi. His opponent in the blue corner, coming from Greece, Nikos Kosmas. Fighters, enter the pit. Redimus Saudi, a five-time Moroccan national champion, feels he has natural knockout power. Nikos Kosmas, a bronze medalist in the 2011 Under-21 World Championships, prides himself on his efficient and technical counter-striking. Ioannis Mavridis from here in Greece is the referee, round number one. This at all seven bouts tonight, Karate Combat Olympus from the Zapion in Athens, Greece, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. If the fight ends in a draw level after nine minutes, we will have one overtime round set for three minutes, which will determine the winner of the fight. Red glove tape for Redimus Saudi, blue glove tape for Nico Kosmas. Very 
Very patient style, but Saudi on the front kick. Big right hand! Well, I love it. It came up that ball and came down while he was punching. Look at these short hooks that he's throwing. Those Moss punching with his back against the wall. And the stand up from referee Ioannis Mavridis. Bouncing the step of Masaudi. Yeah, Masaudi, as you can see, has a five inch reach advantage in both arms and oh, in, the, in his arms and also in both legs. Big overhand right, dropping Coast Moss. Now looking to finish is Masaudi. Five seconds permitted on the ground. Already swelling under the right eye of Cosmos, the mouse forming and forming quickly. Switch of stances now for Nikos Cosmos. Cosmos, Shito Ryu, he represents that. Fight, and Saudi represents Shotokan Kura. Hard body kick. Hard body kick. Looking for the take oh, yes. One. There's the table Three. take down, and you hear Stop. the count from our breeze to five. Come on, guys. Up. Up. Again, no on, submissions. Hey. As long as you don't base with both knees on the canvas, you can throw punches. The top fighter can only throw punches. The bottom fighter can throw up kicks as well as punches. Uh, 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 straight line. Oh, the Saudi should have moved to the side. He only at the last possible moment. Big wide punches. Straight right hand stop, from Cosmos. Stop. One minute, five seconds stop. remaining round number one. He's looking for a double leg but that is not allowed because most of the time when they do that, they stall in that position. Cosmos holding his hands boss much higher. See the front hand of Masaudi from the southpaw me. stance. His right hand very low, actually rubbing his knee. Do it again. You know, I would have my hands up also yeah. when I fight Masaudi, Masaudi because he's got fast kicks <laughs> and powerful kicks. Look what? at this, and a takedown again. From the switch kick, then the front what? kick. Don't actually looked like he was going Go for, for the it. arm bar oh, to Cosmos. Yeah. But if you threw his leg over, he had a triangle. Big right hand again. Cosmos has been training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu here in his native Athens. He said it's really helped him with his inside game and his takedowns. Yes, because you connect Fight. everything together. That's the great thing about that sport. You apply it to karate. Perfect. And vice versa. 15 seconds remaining. All action here in round number one. Radama Saudi of Morocco versus Nikos Cosmos fighting in his home nation of Greece, his home city of Athens. Front kick, the right hand from a Saudi to answer. And the, the leg is longer than the punch. The belly in the there. round one. This is our first of seven fights tonight, Karate Combat Olympus. Man, look at this venue, huh? It's amazing. The Zafion hosted fencing in 1896, the first modern Olympic Games held here in Athens. It's also served as part of the Athletes' Village in the Summer Olympics of 1896. Yeah, Nikos is going to have to fight his closest because he needs to fight inside the reach of his opponent. He cannot let him use his footwork. He was fouled around the forward, came with some strikes, and his opponent went straight backwards. That's actually a good sign. You should do that again because the opponent should move in an angle away from him to the left or to the right to avoid the striking. But hopefully the corner from Nikos is going to tell him that so he's going to blast forward again. One minute rest period between Stop. rounds. Come on, down. Back. Back. Are you ready? Masadi ready. in our fighter meeting two days Fight. ago, boss told us I want to throw more <laughs> kicks than punches <laughs> and a lot of roundhouse kicks <laughs> with my left leg and with my right leg. Yep, and for what I understand, he has the first round. So Nikos needs to turn this up. Hands very high for Cosmos. See the feint from Masaudi from the southpaw stance. There's the one, two. Nice movement by Nikos. Moved away from that right. Mawashi Giri, which is a roundhouse kick. Feint again with the left hand from Masaudi. Five guys. Call for action from Mavridis. Hard kick to the body. That lands on the front kick. Yeah, they use their kicks to set up strikes, but I thought that Nikos was doing better with the side kick because they kicked the opponent away. Oh, he had a take down there, but his opponent, you see, four, now not, he let him go. So now he's allowed up. to strike. The Come single on. leg again Six. is Five. legal. No suplexes, no double legs. Trips, takedowns, and sweeps, otherwise all Guys, legal. Five. 120 in terms of seconds remaining in round number one. Nice action. Again, call for action from Ioannis Mavridis, our referee. 
Oh, Short stop, right hand, stop, almost stop, from stop. a side headlock position. Quickly in the separation. Kosmos right. claiming Boss punched him in the back of the head, which is illegal. Good left hand and a big right hand to fall from a Saudi. Yeah, he really telegraphed that left kick, of course, uh, Kosmos did. He should watch out, set right. it up with a strike or two strikes, three strikes, and that kick. One minute, 25 seconds remaining, round number two. Kosmos calling the Saudi forward, trying to bait him in. Yeah, maybe he's got a trick of a sleeve with the corner there. He's going to give up. He's going to use the wall to get out, but it's backfiring because he got hit in the process. Big wide punches, the level change. And again, Kosmos looking for the takedown, but stalling out. You have to throw in the clinch. You cannot stall out in the clinch. Heavy breathing now from Nikos Kosmos. Extending the left hand as a range finder. Yeah, that's not a good sign because his opponent sees that he's going to attack the body. That's what I would do. Ooh, that was close. 45 seconds remaining round number two. Stalking pressure now from the Moroccan right of a Saudi. Again, two shots to the back of the head. Mavridi's warning the Saudi that time. See our crowd by invitation only here at the Zapion in Athens. On the switch kick. Nearly an accidental, incidental clash of heads on the inside. 15 seconds now remaining round number two. And stalking pressure from Reda Masaudi. Looking for one more significant strike as Mavridis calls for action. He won't get it. We are headed to the third and final round. Coming up tonight in our main event, you will see Jerome Brown of England versus from France, Davy Dona. Karate Combat first met Davy Dona one year ago in a very unusual way. My name is David Ona. My nickname, Uri Khan. Number one karateka. Knockout, Agayev. People, more, more, more karateka. And a fight. No problem. No problem. By fighting in Team Coco Sport. Man. Price. The price. Look my style. I'm ready. Right now. I'm ready. Davey Dona, two-time European champion. You will see him in our main event set at 75 kilograms, 165 pounds, versus the Englishman Jerome Brown, himself a three-time All-Britain champion. Third and final round of this, our opening bout of the evening. Redima Saudi of Morocco versus Nikos Kosmos of Greece. Three judges scoring on a 10-point must system. And again, in this and all fights in karate combat, if it's a draw level after nine minutes, three rounds, then there will be one overtime round set at three minutes, which will determine the winner of the bout. Big strikes on the inside, but Saudi landing yeah. with the left. The mouthpiece got lost. The mouthpiece of Kosmos. Cosmos really needs to push the action right now. It's very important. It was actually the mouthpiece of the Saudi. Yeah, he connected with that first punch. Cosmos did. When I was a boxing referee, I made that mistake all the time. The mouthpiece comes out, you go to the wrong fighter, like Mavridis did there. I have my mouthpiece in. What are you talking about? The heart rate there. Well, oh, I thought he was slowing down pretty fast there, Cosmos did. See the heart rate? That is our cut display. Oh, you can see more in oh, Big right hand. And that is it. Mavridi stops this fight. And the victory for Redimus Saudi in round number three. Wow. Man, that was right on the button. Perfectly placed, well timed, left hook. Kosmos continues to argue his case to no avail with Ioannis Mavridis. The victory for Reda Saudi in round number three. Yeah, the referee's here to watch out for the health of the fighter. And trust me, he will look in their eyes and he sees if they're ready to fight or not. And if he thinks he's not, he's not going to take the risk. Knockout. 
Red Corner, Reda Mesaudi. Reda Mesaudi, boss, we could see the momentum building and building throughout this fight, culminating with that third round knockout win versus Nikos Kosmas. You know, I gotta say with Kosmas, he didn't look flinched at all when he got up, so he's got a really strong hand. I can understand that he still wants to fight, but I think in the moment, it was the right decision. Kosmas, very game. Definitely tried to implement his counter-striking game. Wearing the damage on his face, that mouse formed under his right eye in round one and a mouse under his left eye as well as he exits here in round three. The winner by way of third round knockout, Reda Masaudi defeats Nikos Kosmas. Very pleased that you're with us watching live online around the world. It is Karate Combat Olympus from the Zapion in Athens, Greece. That bout number one of seven, bout number two on tap. Women's 55 kilograms, 121 pounds. Fabiola Esquivel of Mexico versus from France, Sarah Ait Ibrahim. You know, everything is about the same here. Ibrahim has a little bit more reach on both legs and the arms, so let's find out which style, Shotokan or Shidoryu, is going to be victorious tonight. Look at this place, man. I can't, I, 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 I can't get out of it. It's so beautiful. And also the colors, they help a lot. And when we were outside yesterday, we saw the moon eclipse here, right where we're standing. And just, you know, you feel the history in this place. Here in Athens, a city of iconic buildings, this stand is a very iconic building. Everyone knows this, knows this venue. There's so much pride going back again to the first modern Olympiad held here in Athens in 1896. It's still a very relevant building. Politics, parties, concerts, and now this great sporting event, Karate Combat. You know, I was really rooting it for. I was really rooting for to see if I could enter that Pancration tournament they had <laughs> in Greece in 96, yes. I think you would win on the leg locks. Let's hope so, if they allow. Okay, she means business. But so is she. I have a good feeling about this one, uh, my friend. Fighters, go to your corners! For the second fight of the night, coming from Mexico, in the red corner, Fabiola Esquivel! Her opponent, in the blue corner, coming from France, Sara Ait Ibrahim! Fighters, enter the pit! In our fighter meeting two days ago, Fabiola Esquivel told me she feels that she's a very smart and tactical fighter. Ayid Ibrahim said, I'm a very aggressive fighter. I'm very durable. I'm very resilient. Ioannis Mavridis, again the referee. We are set. Are you ready? Fight! Round one. Red glove tape for Esquivel, blue glove tape for Ayid Ibrahim. Hands very high for Esquivel. Off of her back foot right now. Heavy forward pressure, Sarah Aid Ibrahim. Boss, you see Esquivel there trying to use the pick. Use I love it. I love it. It's distraction. Everything works. Set it a little up. The, the equilibrium. It's always good. Straight right hand from Esquivel. We haven't seen the kick yet. Down goes Aid Ibrahim. Trying to work her way in. Again, remember the bottom fighter can up kick. Fight! The stand up order from Mavridis. Hands much higher and tighter. Tighter striking guard for Sarah Ait Ibrahim. Hi, there's action. Mavridis calling for action. Warning to Ibrahim for grabbing the hair of Esquivel. That was the first kick there. Good right hand from Sarah Ait Ibrahim. I love that. You see, she's still fighting again. 
all through this 45 from Bengal Wool. Esquivel legally throwing those kicks with her back against the wall. One minute, 40 seconds remaining round number one. Action. Come straight forward, I would go straight hook instead of two straights. A slip from Esquivel, Aid Ibrahim continuing the punch. Counter on the left hand, big right hand on the hook from Aid Ibrahim. Continual forward movement. Oh, that was a nice switching stance coming with the right, nice. Esquivel, great job. Esquivel now on her bike, looking for the better angle, trying to base off of the wall, almost a modified Superman punch. And you see what she did? She used the wall also to move out of safety, to safety. Can you see our HUD display? You can see more karate.com. And again, she's using the wall to push off. It's almost like she lets herself get pushed to the wall so she can use it. Ibrahim, no interest in pouncing there, keeping this fight standing. Ooh, good right hand. Now 30 seconds remaining round one. She was waiting for that one. That was beautiful. Sarait Ibrahim from France continuing to throw that right hand, continuing to land that right hand versus Fabiola Esquivel of Mexico. Izabizuki, as they call a straight punch. That was down on the counter left. And again, you see Ayid Ibrahim, boss, not pouncing, keeping this fight standing. Oh, she's in control here. No interest in the grounded pound. Final seconds, round number one, and we are headed to round two. You saw from Esquivel, it takes athleticism just to exit the pit. Oof. Boom, and then right away leaning against the pit and throwing a sidekick, or AKA the Yokel Giri. Yeah, that hit her on the temple, that right hand. That'll throw your balance off. We're just getting started. Still five more fights coming your way. It's Karate Combat Olympus from Athens. So pleased to be with the great Boss Rudin. I'm Sean Wheelock. Esquivel extremely relaxed coming into this fight, but put under early pressure from Sarait Ibrahim. Yeah, and as you can see, Ibrahim won the first round. We showed it. If you a little dot next to the name, that means he took the first round. Esquivel has to step it up. Ibrahim grabbing on the inside, worn by Mavridis. See that high tight striking guard. Yeah, it's almost like a Muay Thai style, you would say, right? Absolutely. You see the front shoulder of Sarah Ibrahim. And any mistake that Esquivel makes, she's going to get countered with that right hand. What? There's the right hand. Again, Esquivel down. Using the wall. Trying to angle out to a better position, and she does, but just momentarily. Again, it's that stalking pressure from Ayid Ibrahim. Right. This was good, as you go connected there. Again, the feint. I love that. It's so important, not a lot of fighters are using feints. Nice long left, she could have followed it up, either with a kick or a right straight. Esquivel trying to establish her jab, now the right hand and another right. One of her better combinations in this fight. Yeah, she's doing much better in the second round. Still forward pressure though from Sarah Ayid Ibrahim, dictating the tempo, dictating the range. Nothing on that left hand from Fabiola Esquivel. Can you see the feint? Esquivel trying to use the wall. Yeah, I'm telling you, she's been practicing this because she's been doing this a lot of times. And if the right arm from Ibrahim comes up so much, why don't you go with the left to the body? See the punches? Just like on the ground, when a fighter has their back against the wall, five seconds are allowed of striking. And the top fighter can only punch the bottom fighter, whether bottom on the wall or bottom on the canvas, on the floor, can both up kick and punch. Closing stages, round number two. 
Women's 55 kilograms, 121 pounds. Fabiola Esquivel versus Sarah e. Ibrahim. I would like to see a perfectly placed roundhouse kick. Oh, and boom. Big there we low have. kick drops you, Esquivel. You ask it, you will receive, boss. She might have heard you. Come on, fight. Sarait Ibrahim seemingly in full control of this fight. As we close out round number two. Ooh, I need more action. Let's go. Ioannis yeah. our Greek referee, just calling for more action. Big swing Ooh. and a miss. Yep. Lead left hook from Esquivel. Straight right hand again from Ibrahim. That punch has been there for her all fight long. Switch of stances now for Fabiola Esquivel. From the southpaw, again, Ait Ibrahim walking through. Five seconds remaining, round number two. Again, the feint. Up next, the third and final round. Yeah, that was a close one. And this one, if it also is going to go to Ibrahim, well, the only way for Esquivel is to win by knockout. That was that beautiful kick. I mean, first time I saw that was Roman Deckers did it to somebody. Washi Shudangiri, that's a roundhouse kick to the legs. When they say Mawashi Gedangiri, that's to the body. Yodangiri is to the head. Remember, for more stats, our HUD display, go online to karate.com. It's the official website of Karate Combat. Third and final round upon us. Rafridi's talking to Esquivel. For your safety. I believe it's a trickle of blood coming from her right nostril. It's just a flash wound. It doesn't matter. It's okay. No. Okay, they are stopping this fight. The doctor is stopping this Finish. fight. That's neat. That has to be because then the nose is broke. Okay. Otherwise, it wouldn't stop the fight because the blood doesn't go in the eyes, so it doesn't do anything to the opponent. So that has to be the reason. So our pit side physician here in Greece has stopped this fight. Round number three starts. That officially will go down as a TKO win for Aid Ibrahim. Six minutes into the fight, three minutes of round two. Blue corner, Sada Ait Ibrahim. The winner by way of second round TKO, Sarah Ait Ibrahim defeats Fabiola Esquivel. Tonight, Karate Combat is live in Athens, Greece, the city which gave birth to combative sports and proudly mixes the ancient with the contemporary. It's Karate Combat Olympus coming to you from the spectacular Zapion, which served as a venue for the first modern Olympic Games in 1896 and stands as a true landmark in this vibrant capital. On tap, some of the sport's most accomplished fighters fully focused on showcasing their knockout power and striking skills inside the Karate Combat pit. Hey everyone, with the great Boss Rutan, I'm Sean Wheelock. So pleased that you're with us for Karate Combat. 
Boss Karate Combat, of course, made its debut to the world in April. We were in Miami, Florida. Six fights on the card, four spectacular finishes. We expect more of the same this evening here in Athens. Well, it was the first sport that I started out with, the first martial arts. So yes, that event was an insane event. I only read great and positive reviews about the event. And we saw everything we wanted. We saw clean technique, clean striking. Most of all, though, we saw the respect among those fighters. It's absolutely our pleasure to be here in Greece, but we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge the national tragedy, really a world tragedy. Numerous wildfires here in this nation, thus far 82 fatalities. It's really a difficult circumstance in this country. Yeah, and that number might go up because a lot of people are missing. It's, it's really horrible. A lot of people, you know, passed away. Then people lost their friends, family members, houses, homes, memories, everything. The, the limo driver who was driving me from the airport to the hotel told me he lost three family members. So that brings it very close to home. We fight tonight, full respect to the people of this great nation. We certainly have their thoughts. We have our thoughts with them in mind. Boss, our main event this evening, really intriguing. Jerome Brown of England versus Davy Don of France. This is a contrast in styles. This is a contrast in body types. Oh, it already started at the weigh-ins. Jerome got in his face. A lot of smack talking going on. I had to really push him back. And yes, there are two different styles. One super explosive and him here right on Jerome. You see him, he's nice and loose. He has the reach advantage. He wants to keep him outside his reach. But if Donna can fight inside the reach, that could be a problem for Jerome. In karate combat, we use the pit. It is specially designed. It is designed for all action fights. Yes, our pit is a square of six and a half by six and a half meters, which is for our fans in America, 21 feet and four inches. I love this size because as a fighter, you will be forced to fight. Now also take a look at the walls of the pit. They're a 45 degree angle and the fighter can use those walls to his advantage. For example, if he wants to throw a real Superman punch, well, just push up my friend and boom, there you go. We have specially designed four ounce gloves with the perfect amount of padding on the knuckles and Sean, please explain to people at home the rules. In karate combat, punches to a grounded fighter are permitted for five seconds. Punches and kicks are allowed above the waist and kicks are allowed below the knee. All submissions are illegal. We are now set for our opening bout of the main card at 84 kilograms, 185 pounds. is Fiora Vanta Valentino of Italy versus the Spaniard Igor de Castaneda. That man there, Valentino, was trying to intimidate his opponent yesterday at the weigh-ins, and I mean everything. Yeah, body movements, facial expressions. I love to find out if he can back that up. If he can, great, because sometimes, you know, it's an insecurity. But I don't know with him, he looks very strong. Fighters, go to your corners. We've already had two fights on our preliminary card. Now set for our main card. Fabiola Esquivel, I beg your pardon, in our previous fight. Fioravante Valentino, extremely confident, as you said, boss. Wants to make this a rough and rugged fight. Igor De Castaneda, 2011 Shotokan European champion. He's been training extensively in MMA. The outstanding fighter, Enox Salves, in his native Spain. Ready for the main card. In the red corner, coming from Italy. Fioravante Valentino. His opponent coming from Spain. In the blue corner, Igor de Castañeda. Fighters, enter the pit. This and all fights scheduled for three three-minute rounds. If a draw, Ready. level after nine Ready. minutes, there will be one three-minute overtime Ready. round to determine fight. the winner of the fight. Round number one. Red glove tape for Valentino, blue glove tape for the Castaneda. That is from the foul, ladies and gentlemen. Fight. Wow, look at he's still dizzy. Rapid fire start, as you see from the Spaniard Aguilar de Castaneda. Fight. He can throw everything now, Castaneda. He should take his time, step back. Nice high kick. Big right hand in the left hand. Make it into a reel. Stop, stop, stop. Stand up. Fight. 
Another yep. big right hand. Down yep. again goes Valentino. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah, this fight is over. He could never get his fight back. If that is it, the stoppage from our Greek referee. Andonias Halatsis. Yep. And just like that, the victory to Igor de Castaneda in a steamroller like performance. You know, and I don't want to say anything, but normally the person who says, I'm going to annihilate him, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, it's, it's, it's kind of a self therapy what they're doing. They're self medication. You know, they say they pump themselves up. One way traffic in the karate combat pit in favor of the Spaniard. Igor de Castaneda. The Spaniard, now I'm thinking about the gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Valentino just could never get his offense going, immediately put under attack. How many seconds? And the winner by knockout, Igor de Castaneda. A rapid fire start, boss, to our main card. Yeah, man, this was crazy. You see, once a big punch lands, everything, that was the one. And you know what? It was a looping punch that went to the back of the head, but not really the back of the head. It's just outside the morgue. You see, it's almost like a clothesline. And I'm telling people all the time, use those punches because they're super effective, as you can see. After this one, he never could really find his foot setting anymore. In our fighter meeting, Igor de Castaneda told me I don't want to get stuck on the outside. He fought that completely on the inside, yep. overwhelming Fioravanta Valentino. Yep, he did. The winner by way of first round knockout, Igor de Castaneda defeats Fioravanta Valentino. You see, and that's for the people at home what I mean, we're fighting on the inside. If your opponent has a longer reach, you want to fight close to him because there he is less powerful. And the other part, of course, he needs to make sure that the opponent stays outside his reach. We are at the Zapion here in Athens, Greece. This venue hosted fencing in the first modern Olympic Games held here in Athens, Greece in 1896. This crowd by invitation only. This is a truly spectacular and remarkable setting. Man, 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 if I was 20 years younger, huh? I could have stood right here in the gi <laughs> putting my black belt on. I would take my uh, Kikushin black belt because it's fifth degree, hey? I, it was a gift. I didn't do anything for it, it was a gift. But that looks the best, five stripes on there, right? I think you earned that. Yeah. Can't wait for these next three fights. They're all going to be barn burners. Especially the main event. I mean, the weigh-ins. Like I said before, I really had to push Jerome back with Jerome Brown because he was getting in the face. And from what I understood later on, I found out that uh, his opponent didn't understand what he was saying because he's from France. So he said, what's up, old man? What do you want, old man? But he, he never knew what he was saying. This is an open air venue. We have a canopy. It's open air. It is humid here in Greece. It is very humid here in the Greece. You know, I just took my jacket off and, well, you, you can see it is humid here. There we go. Look at this. What a beautiful man. So, boss, let's talk about our main event. Jerome Brown comes in very confident, 23 years old from North London against David Donna, who's really a legend in karate circles from France. Well, it started. We Okay, this was the deal. We were at the pool in the, in the hotel on top of the roof, and one was on this side, Jerome uh, was on that side, and, and then his opponent was on the other side, but the water was in between. I actually I posted something on Instagram. I said, okay, these guys, because they were eyeing each other the whole time, you know, when you saw him talk, you saw him talk, and they were checking each other out. But I told him that message in the Instagram post that I said, tomorrow there will be no water. There will be no pool in between. These guys are going to go, and at the weigh-ins, I already mentioned two times now, it got a little heated from Jerome Brown's side. You know, Dave Dona, he was still in total control and he was just standing there, but then later on he told me I didn't even know what he was saying. So maybe that's why he wasn't getting angry. But you know, that's also the karate spirit. You just take it. You saw it here as well. You know, people, people can hate each other because right after when he got into his face, what did he do? He stepped back and both of them they bow to each other, and that's what I love about karate. You know, it gets really heated in the weigh-ins and it's talk, but they step back, they bow with each other for respect, and then the fight continues. Davey Dona prides himself on being a finisher as well as an entertainer. He wants to do both win and entertain our worldwide audience. Kokudai!
mon corps, mon esprit, conditionné grâce au karaté. Je me prépare plus de 4 heures par jour pour cette nouvelle ligue de karaté combat. Je suis le meilleur pour cette nouvelle ligue de karaté combat. Je suis passé à côté de nombreux titres européens et mondiaux euh, dus au contrôle et euh, bien souvent des adversaires euh, simulaient un petit peu euh, lorsque je les touchais. Là maintenant, avec cette nouvelle ligue, il euh, n'y aura pas de cinéma en fait. Celui qui tombe et qui est KO, celui qui fait dodo, c'est celui qui a perdu. Je veux que mes enfants fassent du karaté parce que le karaté c'est une superbe école de la vie parce que ça va leur inculquer de nombreuses valeurs telles que le respect, l'humilité, la sincérité et ça va leur donner une vraie ligne de conduite. Premier combat dans cette nouvelle ligue, je ne l'appréhende pas. Je l'attends avec impatience. Je me vois rentrer dans la fosse. Mon adversaire descend. L'arbitre lui demande s'il est prêt. Il pense être prêt dans sa tête, mais il n'est pas prêt. Parce que ce qui va lui tomber dessus à hein, mon adversaire, c'est un ouragan qui balaye tout sur son passé. Karate Combat Olympus live tonight from the historic and stunning Zapion in Athens, Greece. The venue for fencing in the first modern Olympic Games held here in Athens in 1896. With the great boss Rutan, I'm Sean Wheelock. So pleased that you're with us watching live around the world. Four bouts still headed your way. Up now, 102 kilograms, 224 pounds. The Brazilian Wellington Barbosa versus from Turkey, Yassar. Both these guys are Shotokan Karatekas, and both like to take sweep or take the opponent down. So that's going to be cool. But Bosa's arms are seven inch longer. That's a long reach. An extra little part there. Is that going to play a factor? Emphatic entrance for Yasar Shahintakin. Violence, go to your corners! To get us started, here's our karate combat pit announcer, Aguilos Triantis. And ready for the fight! In the red corner, from Brazil, Wellington Barbosa! His opponent, in the blue corner, coming from Turkey, Yasser Sahintakin! Fighters, enter the pit! Referee of the fight, Yanis Mavridis. Barbosa told me he wants to control the tempo, control the rhythm. Shahintakin said, I'm going to be faster, I'm going to be more explosive. I need to rely on my timing and work from inside. Round number one. And he's right. He needs to work on the inside. Seven inch on each arm. That's a long reach advantage for uh, Mr. Yasser Shahintakin. Red glove tape for Wellington Barbosa. Blue glove tape for Yasser Shahintakin. Barbosa sticking out his left hand. I love the feints. Let's take a look at some replays. Boom, look at that, yeah, that was full on the button. And another one, that was the takedown, but he couldn't follow up, and then he made that illegal strike to the back of the head so the referee wouldn't allow him to strike more. To the corner of Wellington Barbosa. See into the corner of the Turk, Yasser Sarge Hintekin. Good to relax, man. Because uh, yesterday I was uh, having a word with him and his team. We're upstairs drinking a little drink. 
Of course, non alcohol for the people. Shahin Tekin spent 15 years as a member of the Turkish national team, won the team world championships with Turkey in 2008. There you saw that Barboza had this little dot behind his name, and that meant that he won the first round. Ready. Round from behind win for Yasar Shahin Tekin, just like that. Yep, as they say, you have to intelligently defend yourself, and that was not what Barbosa did. One real significant striking exchange in favor of Shahintakin, and it ends this fight. And the winner by TKO! We've got to let the blue corner! Yes, sir! Shahintakin! There's the sweep. Very nice. limited offense from Yasar Shehintekin. The offense really slowing down at times evaporating for the Brazilian Wellington Barbosa in round two. Both fighters receiving a warning for not engaging enough, not throwing. From Ioan as Mavridis, our referee. Shehintekin taking full advantage and winning this fight with the ground and pound. Yeah. Karate Combat Olympus continues live from Athens, Greece. We're at the stunning Zapion with the great Boss Root, and I'm Sean Wheelock. Four fights thus far, four finishes. So, Boss, you go back to Miami in April when Karate Combat made its debut live to the world, Karate Combat Inception. Six fights on that card, four finishes, four for four this evening. The pit was specifically created for Karate Combat to produce just this high intensity fights and a lot of finishes. And we're seeing it, you know, at the ladies also, they showed us that, you know, using the wall, you know, it, I love it when you use the wall, you can run up against it, you can use it as an escape. You know, you saw that Esquivel was luring into the opponent and then she tried to go around her. It didn't work out a few times, but when she landed against the wall and then the side made a side kick, she was connecting with it. So we will see more of these fighters do that because they have a pit designed in their own dojo. It's a patent, of course, that they have, and if they get the okay from this organization, Karate Combat, then they can have a pit in their own gym, and that's when you can really start experimenting on what you can do and not can do with those walls. If you missed any of our four fights, or if you'd like to see them again, they are archived. You can go online to our home website for Karate Combat. That is karate.com. So still fights to come. Up next, we will go to Davos Ferreras from the Dominican Republic versus the Russian Mirza Tebuyev. There you go. Look at that beautiful picture. Corners. Davies Ferreras, a big time power puncher, won a gold medal at the 2018 Central American Championships. Here's a debut. You have a four time Russian national champion. Told me in our fighter meeting, I'm a very clean, I'm a very technical fighter. I want to win this fight from the outside. Ferreras made it clear he wants to win this fight from the inside. Back to our pit announcer, Aguilos Triantis. And we're ready for the fight. In the red corner, coming from Dominican Republic, Davis Ferreras. His opponent in the blue corner, coming from Russia, Mirza Tebuyev. Fighters, enter the pit. Set for 67 kilograms, 147 pounds. Greece, Antonios Halatsis, our referee. Fighter, are you ready? Both are you guys ready? Are Shito Ryu. Fight! Round number one. 
For the people who don't know, 50% hard techniques, 50% soft techniques. Look at that. Right left oh. tape for Ferreras, blue left tape for Tabuyev. Mawashi Yorangiri by Tabuyev. Well, well, the the that was a double no leg, double and that is illegal. That's the reason Fight. for the stand up. Oh, nice <laughs> short. Stop. Strong. Fight. Strong Tsuki threw it out there, Ferreira. Can takedowns can Stop. come from any form apart Fight. from double legs and suplexes. Oof. Swing and a miss on the head kick from Tebuyev. Yeah, he's gunning for it. Action. Lots is calling for action. Oh man, Tebuev, I, I love his movement. Action, moving guys. out of sight, not straight back, moving to the side. See what he's doing beautifully. Good angling out from Tebuev, claiming the center of the pit. Big swing that landed on the shoulder, though, from Ferreras from the southpaw stance. Switch of stances from Tebuev to throw the head kick. Not a Mawashi. See the lateral movement, true to his word, Tebu, you have trying to Action, make this guys. an outside fight. Ferreras boss, you can see him trying to work to the inside. Yeah, he wants to throw that uh, Ushiro Ura Mawashigiri again, which is the spinning kick to the head. You know, I saw him Swap. twice Open doing it after the very fight. opening kick that he did, because that was that kick. He tried it two more times here, but he felt that the distance was not correct, so he stopped doing it. Action. One minute, 20 seconds remaining round number one. I like to switch stance from Action, guys. It's almost like he's setting up a back kick as well. Right hand on the counter from Tebuya back Stop. to the outside. Ferreras to the inside. Tebuya thus far controlling the distance. Fighting this at his there preferred we go, range. See? There was big spinning back kick. That's what, That's what they technically called it in Japan. Good luck with pronouncing that. Say that five times. Action, guys. Action. Spinning kick to the head. Swing and a miss from Ferreras, taking himself off balance. Good low kick from Tebuya. You see, but he used it as a setup for his striking. I like him also constantly switching stances. Three punches now, big hooks thrown from Ferreras. And again, Tebuya smartly angling Action, to the outside. Yeah, he needs to set those kicks up because you can see him coming since he throws him with a lot of power and it's a little tiny load up when you can't show that to your opponent. Overhand right from Ferreras. Good head movement there though by Tabuev. Ten seconds remaining round number one. Oh, that was some nice shots there coming from Ferreras. Action, guys. Action. Ferreras cutting the angle, the bell, the end of round number one. Again, if you've just joined us, we've already had four fights. Karate Combat Olympus here in Athens, Greece. Our previous fight, 102 kilograms, 224 pounds. Wellington Barbosa, Brazil versus the Turk Yasser, Sharhintikin. Boss, it was largely one-way traffic for Barbosa in round one. He slowed down in round two. Sharhintikin then taking full advantage of the five seconds of ground and pound. To get the second round TKO win. Yeah, did a great job. Started with a sweep. He left, put him on the ground and hit him a few times. And his opponent was not intelligently defending himself, so the referee stopped the fight. A come from behind win for Yasser Shahintikin. <laughs> Three judges scoring on a 10 point must system. They reveal their scores after every round. Round one going to Davis Ferreras. Can you see the graphic bottom of your screen? The dot, of course, you probably figured this out, indicates the winner of the round. Round number two, and immediately Ferreira seizing the center of the pit. Stop, stop, fight! Ferreira's boss winning on the judges' scorecards, but Tebuyev is fighting this fight at his range and at his pace, now looking for the ground and pound. Yeah, he's doing a phenomenal job, so yeah. It, could, it was a very close round. That's why I'll never win a judge. Get five seconds when a fighter is grounded, either by knockdown, slip, or takedown. The top fighter can throw punches, the bottom fighter can throw punches and up kicks. The head kick from Tibor. 
Counter left, big right hand from Ferreras, but partly on the shoulder. Powerful strike, though. Ferreras they connect big there. He connected right there. Right jab from the southpaw stance. Come back there from Pedroev. Pedroev continuing the circle, continuing the angle out. Stop, no cleansing, fight! No cleansing, guys. Action! Two Greek referees keeping this fight, keeping the fights tonight moving. Oh yeah, you stop five seconds to go, action. Adonios Halatsis, his counterpart Ioannasis Madridis. Wow, Ferraros is swinging for the fences here. Come on guys, action! Oh, Big right hand! A one punch knockout win! This has been stopped by Halatsis. Game, set, match, Mirza Tebuyev. Yeah, you start playing around, that's what happens. I always tell my students as well, don't do it. Why would you do that? Because if it backfires, it's not gonna look good. Tebuyev losing round one on the judges' scorecards. And but again, he was controlling the tempo, setting the range. He talked about that in our fighter meeting. Stay technical, stay on the outside and getting a massive win here in karate combat. Yeah, that was a perfect job. The angles he did, never went straight backwards, switching stances the whole time. He was just waiting for that and right the moment winner by knockout, Mirza Tebuyev. Well, one good thing about this is Shito Ryu, the style one, because both fighters are Shito Ryu. Boom, yeah, you see, I'm talking about it again. It's, it's almost like a clothesline, it's a forearm. I'm using this all the time, and people don't seem to gravitate towards it, but it's such a powerful shot. And also, even when somebody puts up the defense, it will loop around the defense. Big smile on the face of the fighter from St. Petersburg, Russia, Mirza Tebuyev. As the replay confirmed, there was a lot of form in that knockout punch. The winner, by way of second round knockout, Mirza Tebuyev defeats Davis Ferreras. Up next, it is our co-main event of the evening from Morocco, Ashraf Ushen versus from Ecuador, Franklin Mina. Ushef wants to come forward, constant pressure, keep attacking. Mina said, I want to fight like my idol, Muhammad Ali. Keep floating, stay outside, and then sting on the inside. Up now it is our main co-main event of the evening, 93 kilograms, 205 pounds, Ashraf Ushin versus Franklin Mina. Back we go to our pit announcer, Aguilos Triantis. And ready for the co-main event of the night. In the red corner, coming from Morocco, Ashraf Usan. His opponent in the blue corner, coming from Ecuador, Franklin Mina. Fighters. Enter the pit! Ashraf Ushan said, and I'm quoting, my best defense is to keep attacking. Franklin Mina from Ecuador, gold medalist at the 2015 Pan American Games in Toronto, told me he wants to stay long, stay on the outside. And again, emulate his idol in combative sports, the great Muhammad Ali. That's easier said than done. Ushan coming forward right away, so great striking. We saw him last time in Miami, he was also very good. Round number one underway. Ushin from Morocco, red glove tape. The Ecuadorian Mina in the blue glove tape. 
Kick oh, big yeah. right hand. Muhammad Ali asks there from Mina. Now looking to finish on the ground, he does not. Five seconds left. The stand up from Violanis Mavridis. Wow, man. Another big right hand again from Mina. Yeah, I think that Ushin got hit and he's still a little wobbly on his legs. When he got up, there's a little movement there. Oh, right beautiful! Hand. Look at this! Now looking to finish. Wow! And he does! And just like that! Wow! Receive and then give the victory for Ashraf Ushin. Took a tremendous shot and then gave an even bigger shot, boss. Yep. The fight ain't over till it's over, and we saw that in this one. And the winner by knockout, Ashraf Usain. Five fights. Through our, up to our co-main event, five finishes. Bout number six, our co-main. It's a first round finish. Will we go for seven, four, seven, our main event on tap? And that was a throwdown boss here in our co-main. Yeah, man, let's take a look at the replay here. Oh, yeah, he counted that perfect. Came there with the left kick, left front kick, and got connected, got hit with that right straight punch, and of course, Ocean is not going to let him go. He's going to keep on punching. That is a quality win for the 21-year-old Ashraf Ushan. Again, it bears repeating Mina winning the gold medal at the Pan American Games in Toronto, Ontario, Canada in 2015. Ushan, not without adversity, but getting a massive victory. The winner by way of first round knockout in our co-main event, Ashraf Ushan defeats Franklin Mina. Still to come, it is our main event. 75 kilograms, 165 pounds. The 23-year-old Englishman, Jerome Brown, versus the 37-year-old Frenchman, Davy Donna. the stunning Zapion in Athens, Greece. The fencing venue for the 1896 Greek Olympics here in Athens, the first modern Olympiad, now hosting karate combat. And we are set with our main event, Jerome Brown versus Davy Donna. The talk is over. Now let's see if David Donner can overcome that six inch high disadvantage and land his favorite technique, the spinning back fist, all while watching out not to get swept by Brown because that is his favorite technique, the sweep. He's Johnny from Karate Kid. <laughs> sweep the leg. I've been watching Cobra Kai. I'm a massive fan of Johnny now. I've given up on Daniel. Fighters, go to your corners. Jerome Brown, six foot two. Davy Dona, five foot nine. Dona said, I cannot get stuck on the outside. Brown said, power shots be explosive from the outside. Uh. To get us started, our main event of the evening, Karate Combat Olympus. Here again is Aguilos Triantis. And we're ready for the main event of the night. Coming from England, in the red corner, Jerome Brown! His opponent in the blue corner, coming from France, Davy Donna! Fighters, enter the pit! Boss, we talked about this earlier in the broadcast. Reverie of the fight, between Mavridis. these two men at the weigh-in yesterday. Yeah, well, it was one-way traffic. It came from Jerome Brown. 
because his opponent David Dona was just looking, he didn't even understand what he was saying. So he was going, but this is going to be an explosive fight. Round number one. Red glove tape for Brown, blue glove tape for Dona. Ioannis Mavridis is our referee. Brown, Big nice. outside kick. Yeah, and he's still delivered it with power, even though he has that stance, so that's great technique. Get the outside kick. Dona on the inside, right back out. Again, inside. You gotta watch out, you gotta kick the shin. You don't wanna hit the shin. With your shin, there's gonna be a problem. Brown trying to stay long. Brown was looking for the outside trap, yeah. couldn't hit it. I saw that, that was nice. He's thinking, but Dona's not crazy. Both of them explained exactly to you what the fighting styles were gonna be. They know what their opponent can do and not do. Nice strike, nice takedown here by Brown. Brown now has five seconds to throw punches. Dona was smart, he was holding it and then he was not allowed to do it. They're starting off fast. Oh, powerful yeah. kick from Dona. Immediately oh, yeah, there we go. What did I say in the opening? What did I say? Right, I said it. I, I said it in the opening. With the kick, you cannot kick there because once you hit somebody just below the knee, the part of the shin is the strongest there. Time has been called. Yeah, that might be broken. No official stoppage to this fight. Brown reacting as though he has won. Nothing official yet from Ioannis Mavridis. You see our Greek physician is in the pit. That's the problem when you're standing in an open stance. You know, when one has is southpaw and the other is orthodox. And then when you give an inside low kick and you kick just below the knee. This fight is over. Mavridis has waved it off. And the first round TKO win due to injury, Jerome Brown. Oh, it's very scary because you, you can actually, you see, yeah, that's just below there. Ah, that's such a hard part of the shin. You should never do that. David Dona, such a talented, accomplished fighter, two-time European champion, immediately reacting, and he is still down on the canvas, as you see, receiving medical attention. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible way to win, it's a horrible way to lose. Because you won now, because your opponent kicked you at the wrong part of your shin. Yeah, okay, you won, but is it really you Science who did that? Defense. And of course, for Dona, it's a horrible way to lose. Safety first here in karate combat is, of course, it should be in all combat sports. You see class from Brown, to your point, boss, he's not celebrating this win. You don't want to celebrate the injury of your opponent. No, you know, that's their respect again, you see? Right after yesterday, I, I, I told this now a few times, when he got in his face, he still bowed to his opponent. There was still that respect part. Total blackout. So this will go down as a first round TKO win due to injury for Jerome Brown. Our knockout of the night is presented by BitMEX, the most liquid crypto coin trading platform, which offers up to 100 times leverage with industry-leading security. BitMEX, get rich or get wrecked. Join now. Oh, yep. That was a very well-placed left hook to the jaw. Seven fights, seven finishes. An unfortunate way to finish our main event. Again, Donna throwing that low kick. You can see immediately reacting to the agony when his shin landed flush. But Jerome Brown claims the victory, not the way he wanted it, but the victory nonetheless. And who says karate's not effective? <laughs> Just look at this. I mean, everybody went down. It's insane. It's a, it's a great technique. I love it. I like, the, I like the rules. I like everything. The open stance, the wider stance, the different styles, the Shito Ryu, the Wada Ryu, the Shotokan, everything together. This and then this setting. I mean, if you're outside here in Greece, you feel, you feel everything. You feel how old it is, the presence of the, the, the fighters that used to fight here. I mean, 648 before Christ. That's where the first Olympic was here in Athens. And it's, uh, it's insane that we are here now in the same building where I had the fencing. And that was in uh, 1996, right? That's because I wanted to see if I could do that pancreation at the time, but uh, it didn't come. I just became champion and had to defend my title. Our fight of the night is presented by Origin. From fitness to nutrition to personality, 
Our DNA tests help you get the info you need to make the best choices for you. We take you to fear of Ante Valentino versus Igor de Castaneda. Igor de Castaneda landed that big overhand, I would say, mawashi chuki as they call it in, uh, in karate, and there, boom, that little half hook there to the face, that sealed the deal for him. Yeah, he was on point, connected with everything he had, and the referee, as you can see, stopped the fight. Be sure and join us live for our next event, Karate Combat New York City. It is set for this, this, this September, available on numerous streaming platforms, including our home website for Karate Combat, that is karate.com. You will see Abdullah Ibrahim in the main event at Karate Combat Inception in April in Miami. It was a spectacular first round knockout win for Ibrahim versus Josh Quayhagen. We called that fight. That was the fight of the night in Miami. And as Brown earned a spot on the main card from a qualifier, so too does Ibrahim for our next show, set for New York this September. Replays of tonight's broadcast and additional Karate Combat content are available at karate.com and on the Karate Combat mobile app. Karate Combat Olympus, presented by Origin and BitMEX, live tonight from the Zapion in Athens, Greece. For my broadcast partner, the great boss Rutan, for pit announcer Aguilos Triantis, and for our entire crew, I'm Sean Wheelock. To all of you worldwide, thanks for watching Karate Combat.